we need to look at ourselves and, and, and as, it's, it's as though every other country is moving forward and we are still thinking oh we're Nigeria we're just going to stay in, in one place no we need to evolve with time Nigerian Absolutely, me mentally, you you need to be there. I'm, I'm Nigerian first and foremost. I've got a great great opportunity to be to be working here, uh, but that doesn't um, make me it doesn't make me British. It doesn't make me English by any stretch of imagination. I'm still in Nigeria, and I'm still very very passionate about what goes on goes on back home. It's just um, um, I'm just very very sad about how we're going about our affairs back home. It, it doesn't look like as though anything is um, uh, many things is happening in terms of our developments of our players, of our staff, of people generally. Of course, I think it's very, very important. I mean, that, that education is important, but I mean, in, in coaching, uh, I use coaching principles as, as an example. It's, 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 it's not just enough to know what to do. You need to know how to do it. You need to know when to do it. And what if it doesn't happen? And those, are the, those are just um, four basic coaching principles, but it, it comes from education. Sometimes leadership is not about you do go and do this, you go and do that. It's about seeing people, even people that call themselves ad administrators. The way they comport themselves, tell me as a player, I better not mess about now. If he can be doing that, if he can be doing that, I better, I better sit tight. Come out for, for training sessions, make th things available. How many analysis? I can count on my finger how many video analysis of a position we did when we were playing for Super Eagles. Seriously. We just turned up and played because we're in Nigeria. But those days are gone. Those days are gone. Even with the 23s I'm coaching at the moment, we do analysis two, three times a week, a week before we play a game. First and foremost, we need to assess ourselves, what are our strengths and weaknesses from the last game. We need to assess the opposition, then now talk about how we're going to play the game. What formation do we play? Not just us as coaches saying, do this, do this, but having the players buying because they are going to be on that grass on, on Monday, on Saturday, whenever it may be. So it's a collective thing. Why, why are we doing that? We're getting, giving them the buy-in as well as, as, as well as teaching them the tactical side of the game. Because when you, before you input anything, you must have a knowledge of the game. Mm. So it's not just me telling you what to do now. It's you solving the problem on the field because you will have to solve the problem. I can't teach you everything as, as a coach. You have to go and solve the problem. There will be places that will be 3v2. How do, you, how do you know it's 3v2? Offensively or defensively? So giving ownership to the players. It's, we can stay, sit down here all day and talk about so many facets of football.